I know you've addressed this on your show. Three best Browns uh, players that nobody is talking about right now. You know, Jerome Ford gets the worst <laughs> rap, and I don't think enough people defend him. So I'll defend Jerome Ford for the time being until people start defending him. If we look from the what he did from week 13 on, we're talking about with two backup tackles in there, James Hudson and Garyon Christian in there. He had a bad offensive line. And it makes sense that with that bad offensive line, he led the league in zero-yard gains. And I think people hear that, go, oh, I'm out on him. He's got no vision. He stinks. Here are some other things that are important to note about what Jerome Ford did at the end of the year. We all know, and Dave, you can confer with me, David and Joker was pretty hard to tackle last year, right? Like, especially at the reception, a monster. Yep. Eight, eight missed, eight force missed tackles at the reception. That's pretty impressive what David and Joker was able to do. Do you know who was second? Jerome Ford with six missed tackles at the reception. That's pretty impressive, right? Like, David and Joker getting eight is crazy. Six should be pretty nice. Another thing um, with Jerome Ford, again, he played behind a bad offensive line, but he had. 20, 22 runs of 10 plus yards in that six week span from week 11, week 13 to the end of the year. That's more than Derrick Henry. That was the 13th most in the NFL that year. No, a running back that has no vision is not going to get 10 plus yard runs at that clip um, in any season. Jerome Ford was able to do that last year. I mean, people compare him to Trent Richardson. Sometimes I see people do that with his vision and Trent Richardson never had more than like 10, 10, 10 plus yard runs because he actually couldn't see. Jerome Ford can see. He has good vision. It's just about if he gets the blocking he needs to get where he needs to be to make the holes hit that he wants to get to. He's cooking something. You just got to give him a little bit more time. And then you add this on top of the fact that he's one of the best receiving threats that the Browns have from a non-receiver position. He's the best pass protector they have at the running back spot. And yeah, he's not out of every down back i'll admit that but he is a darn good backup running back a change of pace guy you give him 15 carries and then you let him uh catch some passes he's really good for that role i mean like you want to see what the best of jerome ford could be go back and watch that jets game a lot of talk about david and joku and joe flacco in that game Go back and watch it and see who was really moving the chains play to play. It was Jerome Ford in that game dominating, and we don't talk about it enough. 